I work at Monterey County Free Libraries as the Adult Literacy and Volunteer Services Manager. And today for Yoga Self-Care Sunday, we are going to pay attention to our feet. I want to do this for two reasons. Uh, the weather is nicer and the days are longer, so we may be taking more walks and that uh, works our ankles and we need to stretch them back out. And also uh, summer wear, sandals, especially very flat ones, can um, not be very supportive to the ankles. So I would like to re-support them. So today we will be doing ankles. And you may notice I'm sitting here in what is called hero's pose, a virabhasana. And that is on my knees, but sitting on my calves. And that is a stretch, believe me, to the ankles. It's even slightly intense for my body. Um, so from here, actually, I'm going to bring my block. We may want the block for this particular um, episode. So I'm going to bring my block underneath my hips and then bring out each ankle separately. So uh, I'm taking the right left ankle here and I'm going to bunch the toes in for a second, like making a fist with my foot. That can be intense, but just because something is intense doesn't mean that we have to get out of it right away. And then I'm gonna stretch them back out and so I'm flexing my foot like this as much as I can. So from here, uh, I have the space because I'm leaning one foot on top of the uh, thigh and I'm going to make circles with my foot. And you might hear a little crick, crack, crick, crack, and that's okay. Uh, this I don't think is, well, this for me is not very intense, but it is definitely, I feel it and I can feel it crick, cracking. You might not hear it over my uh, computer camera, but it's happening. And then we're gonna take the foot and go the other way, the opposite way. And go slowly and sit tall. Meanwhile, breathing in while we are giving a little love to our ankles. And so now that I've done that, I might uh, kind of shake it out and then I'm gonna trade feet. So I'm bending my left leg and bringing out my right leg so that the foot is on top. And again, I'm make, leaving the space by resting the ankle on top of the thigh. And you can do this from a chair if that's more comfortable. You can, uh, if you can't reach your ankle, perhaps a loved one can do the circles for you. Just be very vocal about how careful they need to be. And I'm going to squeeze my fist out of my toes for a second here. It's very intense. And then now I'm going to start doing my assisted circles. And they do start slightly smaller and then you can make wider range as the foot stretches out. Sitting tall, I'm on my block. That makes space for my hips. Okay, and then when you get, a, did you hear that? Mine cracked. They're crick, cracking, popping. That is okay. So I've turned now to go the other way. Whole thing is cracking, cracking with my right side. And also, that's a good point, your sides may feel different. One side may be more intense, one side may be more uh, stretched out, just depending on our bodies. They're all individual and both sides are even individual. All right, so now I have made a little stretching to my ankles and they do feel better. And I wore really flat, unsupported sandals yesterday, so I needed this. So from here, we're going to come to tabletop position and we'll do a few uh, cat cows. 
So coming to all fours, knees and hands, knees, hip width apart, and hands, shoulder width apart. And then from here, just slight bend in that elbow and inhale, lift, and exhale, close. Inhale again, exhale, close. Inhale, open, feeling a stretch across the shoulders, the front of the shoulders, and exhale, close, feeling a stretch of the ribs. Now the feet here are flat, and that is a different kind of stretch, so you may even be feeling that. I do. Inhale, stretch, and exhale, contract. Let's do two more. Inhale at your own pace, feeling the stretch. I also feel it across my lower back. And exhale, contract, lifting the spine as high as possible and pulling in the ribs and come back to neutral. So from here, a thing that we can do to stretch out our foot is we'll send the right foot back and rest on our toes. And from here, we'll use our arms to push ourselves back and feel a stretch in the foot. And then come forward. That is definitely a stretch to my toes. So you're coming forward on to flat onto the top of the foot. Back. Stretching the foot back, stretching the toes, wowza, this also you can feel in your calves, and forward to the top of the foot, stretching along there, and back to stretch the, along the back of the calf and the back of the foot. Now I'm going to turn sideways so you can see my other side, and I can say hello here to this plant. So again. Hands below shoulders, knees below hips. They're each, there's some space between the knees and there's space, shoulder distance between the hands. Coming forward onto all fours. Hey, let's just do a little reset, cat cow. And up. Oh, let's do two. And exhale. Get strong in the hands with a bend, a slight bend in the elbows. And then we're gonna lift again that back foot, this is my left, and plant it on the toes. And from here, we'll use the arms to push back just until you feel a little bit of a stretch along the calf and along your toes of that left foot. And then come forward on your hands and Feel the stretch along the other side of the foot. And then back again. Stretch along the calf and the feet. And forward, come onto those toes on top of that foot. I feel that in my thigh, actually. So maybe you do too. And then forward. Let's do one more. Okay, back. Stretching along the back of the leg and those toes and forward. All right, I'm going to uh, shake them out a little bit, shake out my feet and come to seated again. So from here, I would like us to do what is called malasana or garland pose and that's a squat and that definitely is an intense stretch on the ankles and the feet. So I like if you have something, not necessarily a block, if you have a big book or several books, have those ready because you may want to support your um, bottom. So I'm going to start here on my knees and then come back to the tabletop position. Tuck the toes, strong arms, fingers spread all the way out and lift the hips. Wow. 
Breathe in deeply here. Now the heels are sending toward the ground, but they may not make it there or they may make it there. And you can ease up the stretch by moving your legs back or you can make it more intense by moving forward. But from here, we're gonna have our hands move back and our feet move forward, just until, and you can make a bend in the knees here, just until we're in a forward fold. But it can have a very deep bend in the knees just so that you can get the hands flat. And from here, we'll come up. So let's come up in a count of 10. 10, nine, eight, Breathing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders back, zero, and head comes up. So from here, I'm going to face you here. Uh, we'll come back forward again and get that block. And my block is going to go a little bit behind my heels and um, where I might sit on it. So behind the heels and between the legs. And if you have a wall, even better, because that can support you as well. So from here, I'm going to, again, bend the knees and come into a pretty wide stance. And then I'm going to start bringing down the hips into a squat. You can use the knees, the arms to spread out the knees, and I'm sitting on a block here. And that is definitely, I'm feeling it in the ankles, I'm feeling it in the thighs, and I'm going to just sit up straight here. Here we are, Malasana. And definitely a feel of stretch on the um, ankles. If you like to try another stretch, if you're seated on something, you can lift the toes and see if that feels different in the feet or not. That's pretty intense. And then pressing out with the elbows here to get a nice stretch. And now that I've been here for a second, I think I can remove my block, but only do that if you're comfortable. And here that now that my weight is being held by my feet, I feel a very strong stretch here. So stretching the ankles and the feet. And then when I'm done with that and had it with the intensity, I'll place the hands on the ground and lift the hips once I'm steady. Let's come up in five this time. Five, four, I'm moving my legs in. Three, two, one, shoulders back. And I'll meet you here on the floor again. So there was a little bit of love for the feet and ankles. At this time, I am back in a crisscross position. And I uh, just want to thank you for being with me here. Let's roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath, breathing in through the nose all the way through down to the belly. The belly expands. You can put your hands on it and feel it. Exhale through the mouth. Close the eyes if you wish. Inhale again through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. That was a little bit fast. Let's do another one. Inhale slowly. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale through the mouth as you're talking, if you wish, or just let the air out of the mouth, making sure that it's coming from the belly up, out. And placing the hands together and the thumbs at the chest. Thank you very much for practicing with me. I hope that your feet feel good and can carry you farther. Have a good month.